Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the month of November. This is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. You know I focus on love, right? So I'm sure you're clear about that. Uh, this is for Cancer. I'm sure you guys probably thought I forgot about you, huh? I didn't forget about you. I didn't forget about you. I've just been really busy. And I always have you guys up at the top of the list. Always. Always. Because you guys know cancer is like... Probably one of my... Probably, I would say, my favorite. <laughs> So, you're always at the top of the list, so this time, I, I mean, it's only fair. It's only fair. So, let's see what happens. I think my favorites, I mean, Cancer is up at the top. I There may be one before you, but it's a toss-up. Knight of Wands. Act now, think later. Action is needed. Yikes. Page of Coins reverse. Somebody may not be acting with integrity. Oh, the Two of Cups. Yeah, somebody needs to take action in regards to love. I mean, this is a partnership that is... Pretty nice, okay? You take a look at those swans. I mean, they're in love. There's some love here. But there's some sort of responsibilities, perhaps, that are getting in the way. There's too much going on. Things are a little overwhelming right now. Somebody may be more focused on their coin. Uh, just saying. Oh yeah, some somebody may be more focused on their coin. You deal you may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yep, unable to balance the both. Somebody things are out of balance. Love and money or love and work or is not being balanced well. That's what this is. Mm. Now, it's all about commitment. This is the card of Taurus, which is the Hierophant card represented by Taurus. This is Sagittarius. Um, but this is a card of believing in yourself, listening to your inner guide, accepting the guidance that you receive. It's also a card of faith. Faith in love, because see, the Two of Cups is connected to it. Whatever this love connection is, it could lead to marriage and commitment. But right now, somebody isn't balancing correctly. You know, they aren't doing what they need to do to make both an equal priority. Uh-oh. And somebody is, like, feeling discontent. Somebody's feeling bored. And I want more. I want more. I do. I want more. Uh-oh. The Ace of Wands. There's a lot of passion. There's that spark we had. I think, I'm not sure, but I know that you guys had an instant spark. And there is an instant spark here. There's There's passion. There's excitement. There's room for growth. And somebody could be overwhelmed with this newfound passion, you know? It's a little overwhelming. Uh-oh. The Ace of Cups reversed. It's like, if you don't put time and effort into love, then it could be thrown away. Somebody is shutting down emotionally because they're not getting the love that they desire. They're not feeling loved. 
because the other person is focusing too much on everything but love and the other person is like, well, you know, I need to be loved, so I'm going to look elsewhere. Yikes, yikes. Now, let me just get make sure this is focused. There could be a new a new sexual partner or a new partnership that somebody is finding because they're not getting the attention that they want in a relationship. I mean, with that Knight of Wands as well, there's like impulsiveness. Somebody could ha be, you know, jumping on the bandwagon with a new person because they're not getting the attention that they want. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, maybe somebody's decided, you know what? If you don't love me, I'm going to go find somebody else. I mean, that's kind of what this looks like to me. And they're not feeling loved because somebody isn't putting in effort. And uh, now there's a new spark. There's a new opportunity. Somebody, it's like somebody has found a new flame. Because they didn't get taken care of. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Five of cups. There's an emotional loss. It's a disappointment. Somebody, there's, there's some sort of grieving going on here. And there's another opportunity. There is absolutely, see the two of cups are behind it, the three of cups. So there may have been, somebody may have cheated. Somebody may have cheated and went with someone else. Because they weren't feeling fulfilled. Either way, there's a new opportunity for love here. Either way, there is cancer. Somebody's got a new love. Because somebody didn't own up to their end of the bargain in a different relationship, you know? Now I found somebody else. And somebody's going through a transition. I mean, you look at the Six of Swords, it's in between the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. The Five of Swords is like power struggles and hurting people. And the Seven of Swords is sneaky, shady, cheating behavior. Somebody has moved on because they didn't feel loved. And they may have acted impulsively and, you know, did something that was extreme. This is extreme with the temperance reversed. You know, maybe they, you know, had sex with somebody else. I'm just saying. And now Ooh. And now it's like, you know what? I, I I don't even have to prove myself. You didn't you didn't love me. You didn't show me the love. And I just want to be happy. I want to be loved. I want I need attention. And now somebody may need to take a time out to reevaluate this whole mess. This is a time of reevaluation, right? With the Hermit card, that's what it is. I need to go within and figure this out. Come up with a new plan. Somebody is going through a, some sort of spiritual awakening with the Hermit card, with the Hierophant. This is like becoming consciously aware. Of what love is. Where love stands in my life. But this is a completion. It could be a completion to a commitment. Because the tens are completion. There could be something that somebody was committed to that was just overwhelming. Because it was unfulfilling. And it's coming to a completion because... Somebody acted impulsively, moved in a new direction, somebody has been holding on to a dead end situation. That's the death card reverse. It's like holding on to something that is a dead end and it's getting old.
You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You have Sagittarius. You have Taurus. You have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your Taurus a couple times. You have Scorpio. I said that already. Um, you have Virgo a couple times. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus and Virgo the most. Um... It looks like you're going through some sort of transition and there's a new opportunity for a partnership here, a new partnership, a brand new partnership. Ooh, now we have Capricorn. It is probably an earth sign. You may be dealing with an earth sign. Um, taking back your power, taking back control, releasing yourself that you ha you've been holding on to a toxic situation in which it may be time to release it you may be moving on from that taking back your power taking back control because you deserve love right i'm sick of focusing on this is what you're saying i'm sick of focusing on this unloving situation i deserve love i want love i do want love i think there could be the tens or completions there's an end of a relationship that at one time was really really happy and you're moving into a new one because you know what you're worth and you deserve it. You've dealt with some pain. You felt some pain. And now you're receiving some sort of miracle. It's a divine connection. There's a spark. There's, a, there's like a new flame that is coming into your life. It could be a Taurus or a Libra. You have this beautiful new opportunity that is being presented to you. That leads to happiness, Cancer. You have a, you have a, it looks like you have a new passionate partnership. After you walk away from something, this is walking away from, it is, and it's from a relationship that's discontent, that's over, that's dead, that's a dead end. It is, and a lot of you don't want to hear, especially cross watchers. Some cross watchers do, I don't know, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. But somebody is reevaluating their current relation, reevaluating current, you gotta look at marrying each other. They're going through a period of reevaluating their current relationship about walking away because they found this newfound or they want this passion and love back in their lives. Now, keep in mind, this is for the month of November. If it doesn't resonate right now, watch it at the end of November. Because things change fast, especially with this energy right here. And this one. There's going to be like an instant spark that may take you off guard. Somebody may act impulsively, especially with that temperance reversed. In this one, there could be an impulsive. And this Ace of Wands, I mean, this spark is so strong that you may not be able to deny it. Okay? And you go down that road, and then you have to reevaluate the situation that you are currently in. So, I don't condone this shit, but it is what it is. If you are single, there is an opportunity for you to receive the reward that you have been waiting for because you have dealt with your pain. And there's a new passionate beginning on the horizon. It's like you open that box You know, I, I, whenever I see this, I see Pandora's box. That box gets opened. And things happen fast. Fast. And you may be emotional over it, right? You may be like, oh my God, how am I going to handle this? You might be like, oh my God, this, you may want to withdraw and retreat because all of a sudden you've got this new love interest and it's a little scary.
you may feel like whoever you're dealing with doesn't have good intentions, but there's an opportunity to have a fresh new beginning if you can take a risk and have faith. Faith is this is a card of faith. This is a card of faith. Faith in starting over. Faith in new beginnings. These are also the rods of love. Some, you are going to receive some sort of communication or you are going to run into somebody that where sparks fly. And there's very impulsive, this is impulsive, this is impulsive, that temperance reverses it. There's impulsive actions being taken here. And, but it's not a bad thing because... Whatever is meant to be is meant to be, right? Somebody is needing, going to be facing their fears. And it's the fears of getting hurt. You know, that's the bubble of protection. It's being popped. It is being popped. You can't protect yourself from this. Like I said, when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And it looks like the time is now. Eights are the times now. Eight, eight. Because you haven't been happy where you're at. And it's time for you to begin again. It's time for you to go through that new door and cross that bridge that you have been reluctant to cross, cross over. There's a lot of fear of change here. You've restricted yourself because of fear, because of fear of getting hurt. You've been staying, protect, this is, this is staying in the safest option. This is the ultimate protection here with that freaking bubble. I hate that bubble. Fear of disappointment. Anyway. It looks as though you've held yourself back long enough and the universe is saying, okay, all right. It's time for your rebirth. It's time for you to receive a miracle and get out of your head. Open your heart. Woo! And put yourself in the driver's seat because it's your turn. Master your emotions and head in that new direction, Cancer, because you have whatever this is, whatever this new spark is, this new beginning that is being offered to you, it leads to success. I feel as though there's one thing that is ending and a new one is beginning very, very, very quickly. You're in charge. You're in charge. Looks like you are headed towards a passionate new partnership. I mean, that's what I see. I can't. I don't need to go any further. What else do we have for cancer? There's going to be some, a lot of passion, okay? A lot. Ooh, go for it. Oh boy. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. Go for it. You deserve to be loved. 
and there's somebody out here that really wants you. It could lead to marriage, commitment, and extreme happiness. It's in your hands. Go for it.